Okay, so if you are experiencing issues pairing your new Google Chromecast remote with your specific TV, well, I have got a fix for you. I was experiencing the same thing with both of my TVs. They were just not wanting to pair. The volume buttons were not pairing, the power button was not pairing, and the input button was not pairing. Now, you of course wanna to try to pair all of those if you can, because this way you will only need to use one remote. So that was what I was looking for and was hoping, and when it didn't work, it was a little frustrating, but then I found a fix. So I'm gonna first show you what it's doing, and then right after that, I'm gonna show you the fix. So let's just go ahead and go to settings, and then I'll show you. We're gonna go down to remotes and access, uh, accessories, and we're gonna go to set up remote buttons. We're gonna click add a device, click TV, and now here's where we have to put the brand of your TV. So this is a Westinghouse. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the W's to choose my brand of my particular TV. And I have a higher, which is basically a no-name brand in the other room, and the same thing, it was not wanting to pair. So this is a Westinghouse, so I'm going all the way down to the W's. And again, I'm gonna show you what happens. So there's the Westinghouse, I'm gonna select that. And so we have volume, power, and input. So let's start with volume. Now I turned the volume down on purpose uh, because I don't want it to be loud in the video. So let me go ahead and click volume. It says you'll hear music next. So you're not gonna hear music because I have the mute on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to toggle the volume buttons and I don't see the volume, the TV volume coming on so I have to select no. And then let's try it again, no. And what it's doing is it's going through different audio codes to see if it's the right one. And each time I do it, it's not the right one. So let's try this one. Again, it's not the right one. And then one more time. And as you can see, it says it looks like the Chromecast remote cannot control the volume on this device. So that's a little frustrating when you have a brand new device in 2020 and it can't even control your TV. So let's go next. And the same thing with power, watch this. So if I click it, it doesn't turn off. So it's not working. Okay, so we're gonna go through all of these, okay? It's not working. Same thing. It's trying to find a power code here and it's just not working. One more. And as you can see again, the same message, it looks like the Chromecast remote cannot control the power on this device. So that is what's happening. So if you are having the same issue, this is how I fix it and I'm gonna show you that. So I'm gonna click the home button. All right, we're gonna go back into settings and we're gonna start over. We're gonna go down to remotes and accessories and here is how you fix it. So go up to set up remote buttons, go to um, add a device, TV. Now, instead of picking our brand, guys, the fix is to choose Samsung, okay? So all I did was I chose Samsung. Even though this TV is a Westinghouse, I chose Samsung, now let's see what happens. We're gonna try volume, we're gonna go through that process again and let's see what happens. All right, let's try it. Point the Chromecast, let's try the volume. Okay, no, try it again. And as you can see, it worked, okay? And now we're gonna do power, let's see if it works with power. It worked, check that out. Now I've gotta wait eight seconds and then power it back on. And guys, all I did was select Samsung instead of my own brand of TV. Turn it back on. There it goes. And as you can see, I'm controlling it right with my remote. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with input. Let's try input. And 
as you can see, I can switch. Perfect. And I am all done. So I have now paired my remote to this TV and now I can use my volume, power, and input. Guys, let me know in the comments if this little trick helps you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.